guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna jump right in and I am going to compare the Mina Bay Kinney and the Azaria La Mer. I've had a couple requests for this and I think people think they're similar or if you like the Azaria, you're curious if you're gonna like the Kinney. So let's just get on into it. All right, so here they are side by side. The Azaria La Mer is definitely smaller than the Kinney, for sure. You can fit way more in the Kinney than you can the Azaria. Um, the leather is different as well. The Azaria leather is pretty smooth and very like pliable, whereas the Kinney leather is much thicker, feels more durable, and um, has a texture to it. Now I will say that the Kinney is heavier than the Azaria. Um, not by a lot, but it is a little bit. The gold zippers are fairly similar. Um, even the pull tabs are similar. The Azaria has a flap, or the Kinney has a flap. The Azaria does not. You've got a huge pocket on the front of the La Mer. You also have a huge pocket on the front of the Kinney. The key leash is here in the front pocket, whereas the key leash on the Azaria is on the inside. Um, let's see. Both of them have two super functional bottle pockets. Um, the kidneys are magnetized, so that is different. The Azaria, you have a huge slip pocket back here. The Kinney, you do not. And then back here on the Kinney, you've got an insulated bottle pocket, which you do not get on the Azaria. Both of the backpack straps are on the side, so they're both very comfortable. The Azaria backpack straps are a bit thicker and um, the Kinney's are the faux leather all the way where the Azaria are about 75% of the way, the faux leather and then the seat belt material. And then they're also the seat, ma seat belt material on the back. The grab handles are different. The Azaria's is much smaller and it's the seat belt material, whereas the Kinney's is bigger, a little more substantial, um, but it does stick up the whole time, whereas the Azaria's kind of flops back. So keep that in mind. Oh, you also have this side zipper pocket on the Azaria, which you do not get on the Kinney. So they're both kind of, <laughs> they're both empty, so they're both kind of flopping. But the Azaria opens like this. It's got two zipper pulls and it opens wide like that. The Kinney has a flap, which stays back super easily, which is good because I'm not a flap girl. And the Kinney opens like this. So they both have nice wide openings. They are just different. Then this little guy has a magnet so it's just not flopping around, which is awesome. So, now to the inside. The Azaria has this faux leather material, which is this kind of like rose, tan, beige color. And then the Kinney's has this like nylon material, which is really high quality feeling. And um, it also has faux leather trimming right there. And this is a convertible bag, so you can wear it um, as a crossbody bag, you can wear it as a backpack, you can undo these, um, hide them. So that is pretty cool. This is also a convertible bag. And I don't know where my strap is, but you can have a short strap or a long strap, it comes with it. And um, you cannot remove the backpack straps though, but you can tighten them up nice and short so they're not flopping around, which is cool. So now 
I'm going to pack them for you. Let's start with the Azaria. We are going to put my wallet in one of the side packets, just like that. Snacks, I'm gonna put those on the other side packet, just like that. And in the front slip pocket, I am going to put four size four squished pampers and then my Y pouch 30. I'm going to stick that right in the front pocket. There we go. Just like that. Boom. I have my mommy pouch, a little book and spare clothes. We're going to put those squirrel all right in the middle. Just like that. And then in this back zipper pocket, we have our mini med kit. The Ziploc baggie in case we have any explosions or messes. Kleenex. And I do have a little bow <laughs> that uh, Delilah was wearing last night. And so we'll just stick that back there too. And this is um, by an Etsy shop. And I will leave it below. Get a little discount too. So that's all for the inside of the bag. It is nice and full. Um, but I could put a sweater, a pair of shoes, blanket right on top so it's not full to capacity so in this back slip pocket i'm going to put my logan and lenora change pad right back there and then in the front slip pocket i'm going to put my y pouch mini with hand and face wipes which is almost gone so i need to refill that and then my baby Yannix hand sanitizer. I'm gonna put on the side. Oh, I have been looking everywhere for this. My Pura cap, yay! <laughs> put that on the side. And then I have my Munchkin. Well, not mine. Delilah's sippy cup. Put that on this side. Too many straps in the way. There we go. And I think that's it. And then in this front zipper pocket, I already have my husband's airheads. Just kind of leave those in most of my bags these days. So now let's put all of this into the kitty. So let's start on the outside. I'm going to put a swipe pouch on in this back insulated pocket. It is really uncomfortable for me to wear this on my back with a sippy cup in this pocket. So I don't put a sippy cup back there. Put those hand and face wipes there. It's easy to grab. Then my hand sanitizer just goes in the front. And then I do have air heads. And that goes in this front, or not the front, well, kind of, this little zipper pocket there, that's always my designated airhead place when I have one of my Mita Bays. And then in the Mita Bay, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I think you can, but it like wants to fall forward, even when I have it packed. So, in order to remedy that, I put my wallet in the front as well. And now it stands up, which is awesome. Oh, my sippy cup. Let's put our sippy cup on this side. Pocket. Boom. And I would put my cell phone actually on this side uh, pocket if it's perfectly in there. 
So, I have my Logan and the Nora Change pad. And I actually put that in the back um, laptop pocket. And then I would take my Y pouch and stick that also in this back laptop slip pocket. And then, let's see. And this, I'm actually gonna just stick right down in the middle. Kind of helps give this Kenny some shape. And then, let's see, the snacks. So we've got our snacks, and I'm going to put that in this side pocket over here. I have my mini med kit, and I'm going to put that in one of these front slip pockets. Right there. And then I have my Ziploc, and that goes in this long zipper pocket. Right here. And then my tissue I'm going to put in the other front slip pocket. And then we've got a little bow, and I, actually, I'm just going to leave the bow out. Yeah, she has a different bow on today, anyway. And then in the uh, middle, I'm also going to put my mommy pouch in our book. Like that. And then we've got our... So I actually am going to put those in the back two slip pockets. And I have packed these Mina Bay bags a few different ways and it is just the easiest for me to be able to just grab out a diaper when I need it instead of getting into a pouch. Um, I, I tend not to put my diapers in a pouch much anymore because it's just a waste of time. Like when I'm out and about and I'm changing her, she's cray cray and I need to get stuff now. I don't need to pull out a pouch, unzip it and then pull out more stuff. So that's why I keep everything pretty accessible. That way we can be efficient. And now, as you can see, I hope, there is a lot more space in this Kenny than there is in the Azaria. You could just put so much more vertical in this bag um, than you can the Azaria. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. I hope I gave you some insight into which bag is best for you. I love them both. I feel like I change what I need in a bag as Delilah gets older. They're both awesome. I think it just depends on how much space you need, honestly, because the bottle pockets, you know, they've got two outside bottle pockets. You've got a big front pocket. You've got zippers everywhere. So they're fairly comparable with the organization of the bag. It's just the Mina Bay Kinney is bigger and the Azaria is a little bit smaller. So depending on what you need, how much you're packing, what you want this bag for, I think will depend on which one you choose. So I'm done rambling. I feel like this might be a little bit of a longer video, but I hope you guys liked it and leave me any questions down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.